This video is a quick tutorial to the new interface of ISSL. On the left you have the script editor in which you can directly start typing in a script. Here I created a 10mm cube that appears in the 3D view in the middle. On the right you have all the printing parameters, the choice of printers and the slice button. Slicing will happen in the background so that you can continue visualizing your object. When slicing is done, you can save your G-code and then you can visualize the layers. You can navigate through layers using uh, the slider at the top. ISSL interface has a number of advanced features. For instance, if you load a relatively complex model, you might want to do a few changes to it. Now the problem is that this would require understanding this entire script. Instead, in ISSL you can simply click on a primitive to see where it has been created. For instance, the right high is created by line 79. Now what you can do is simply change the values of the numbers here to change the eye, but what's more is that in ISSL you can click on any number and use Ctrl plus mouse wheel to actually change interactively the values in the script. So for instance here I'm going to displace uh, the left eye. And that's it. And maybe you want to uh, change the antennas as well. If I click on the spheres, it will tell me where it is, and I can uh, enlarge the model. Now again, I'm going to slice this. Uh, slicing happens in the background, so you can continue to work on the model and maybe experiment a few things, such as changing uh, the size of the neck, and we'll have the transparent view to see exactly what's going on here. And so the neck is created by uh, this cylinder, and uh, I can uh, edit it here interactively. Or, of course, I can change the size of the main body. And you can see the changes uh, happen interactively uh, again. Now, of course, the changes I made while it was slicing will not appear in the slice model because we are just slicing what was uh, in the 3D view at the time we pressed uh, the button. Let's save this G-code. And we can have a look at the layers. And you can see that the model has been uh, edited as expected. All right. ISSL uh, now has additional features, which I call tweaks. The idea of tweaks is to let people customize objects without having to uh, really understand the, the script language itself. So for instance, if we load up this gear train, it has two tweaks, which are the number of teeth on each of the two gears. And if I uh, change the slider, it's actually adapting the gears automatically. And this comes from the script. So let me show you how to create tweaks. I'm going to uh, start afresh, and I will uh, create a tweak value called radius, which I will use to create a sphere. So radius will have a default value of 5, and it will be able to go from 1 to uh, 10. And you can see that this created this additional slider here, and I'm going to emit a sphere of radius r. And now you can see the sphere, and if I use a slider, it will actually uh, change its uh, size. And of course, you can slice at any time to get uh, the G-code. There you go. And we have uh, all the different layers. All right, and just to show you how far this can go, we actually created an entire 3D printer with uh, ISSL. We call it the Ice Delta. And the Ice Delta is entirely parameterized by tweaks. And you can use the sliders to change, for instance, the length of the arms or the spacing uh, between the arms, and you can even move the uh, extruder to make sure that nothing will collide during printing. And we actually created this printer. It's a mixture of 3D printing and laser cutting, all done from ISSL, and it works actually extremely well. Thank you.